we're going to give the first coat of paint to that side in the front and then we've got the other ones ready there um, to give to make black So now we'll let that dry for 10 minutes and we'll give it another go. <clears throat> so we're going to layer in some purple um, anodizing into the black as well. <clears throat> so that should add some uh, anodized shading through and we'll let that go and then go over again with the black and see how that looks and now we'll give it another coat of black and see how we look after that dries and go from there might just need another little spritz might do another little spritz of the purple we'll see how we go here And the rest we shall do later on. I think that's a pretty good stopping point there for all those. So excellent, and I'll get back to it in a second for you. Alright, hey YouTube, we're back for today. Everything's had a good night to dry, um, and it's come out pretty good. Uh, came out pretty black. So the purple didn't come through quite as much as I hoped, but that's all right. We, we tried it out um, and we still got a really nice black finish. And I think the purple uh, gave it a nice sheen through it. I'm going to finish off a little bit on that side. We didn't quite get all the way in there, but that's <coughs> come out all pretty good. Um, the back panel, the purple came through a bit in the middle there um, and sort of gave it a galaxy like effect which is what I was sort of hoping for so it's kind of subtle um, and will come out more under more light um, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up but there's some uh, grades of purple and stuff in there um, CD cover came out good um, so 
that's just come out with a nice sheen. It is kind of purpley, like it's not a jet black. It has a has a tint to it. And the other side panel came out fairly black. Um, we've still got a couple of light patches, so that's cool. Um, and yet again, just has that like slight like sheen to it that's not pure black. Um, so that's cool. That's what we're kind of hoping for. And now today we're going to do the chrome. So I've never used this stuff before. Um, so we're going to start off with all the little bits, uh, the power button, reset button, the little um, CD locking things and those two front strips and see how that comes out. And then we're going to go around and do some edging on that. But more than anything, we're going to do I think I'm going to do pretty much the entire inside of this in chrome and try and keep like it all shiny. I don't know if I'll go all the way into all the bays, but at least like all the facings that we can get to, um, depending on how it comes out. Um, and then the top, I'm going to do in chrome, but we're going to weather that a little bit later. But inside's going to be all chrome. I think I'll just leave the back, the, the back and bottom. Um, just black as they are. So it should all come out nice and shiny inside. Um, and then sort of a bit of weathered chrome with everything else. And then we still have to work out what we're doing with the, the glass, plastic, the sheet. Um, so I think I'm gonna do just a round portal and then do all the rest in purple um, and just have a small see-through area in the middle there um, and just do the rest in purple. So that will give that side more purple. Um, and probably a little bit of chrome or something. We'll see how the edge looks. Um, and I may detail that more or less, um, depending on sort of how it all blends in. So we're gonna kick off with just the little bits first and try out this chrome paint. Um, so I'll just have to move everything around here a little bit and we'll get to doing that. All right, so here we are. We've got all our little bits and bolts and buttons and we're gonna give the chrome a First shot, let's see what happens. So, let's go. I think we'll do that for our first coat and see how that came out. So, we'll give that some minutes to dry. So, we're back for our second coat of chrome. And first coat looks pretty good. It's come out pretty different than the white and the black parts. The buttons look like they've come out really well. We'll just see how a couple more coats of this stuff goes. So we'll see how that one comes out. Back in 10. All right, coat number three. So hopefully, kind of those. Uh, hopefully that will kind of do those and then we'll do the rest of the case and then maybe go over them once more. But I think they'll dry out pretty nicely. They look pretty cool. Uh, they've come out a little bit different from the black plastic and the white plastic and the white coated metal so if that's how the top kind of comes out when I go over the white then that's cool that's exactly what I wanted that sort of dull finish on the white if I can get the black shiny then we're absolutely spot on so I'll get back to that as soon as these have have a time to dry enough that I can move them all right so we're back let's have a look at how these came out Looks pretty shiny to me. Okay. These came out really cool. You really have to get that. And fill in any holes. And it all looks pretty even. And 
chromey. Certainly dulled, which is cool. I'm hoping the inside will come out a little bit brighter. <clears throat> but they came out exactly how I wanted them to look cool with the black. So, I forgot to actually do any on that, but he got a little bit of paint. So, I got a sparkle. Still don't know if we're doing anything with that, but let's get the case set up. Alright, so first coat done, and that looks pretty good. And it looks like we're just doing the back in silver. Being like I said, I was going to never leave it, and we're just going to go around the whole thing. And so we'll let that coat dry. And this is going to be our day just backwards and forwards, coats of paint, and 10 minutes of waiting. So we'll be back in a sec. We'll do our first coat on the other side. Yay! More paint drying. More side number one. And, and more drying. That's probably going to be enough there for the back. Um, and then we'll just do one more coat from the other side on the inside in a little bit. And then I think that should be really good. And should still have just enough chrome for everything else we want to do. So that's cool. We're a little low on black, so we're going to keep that for the laptop. But we've got a good amount. A bit of purple. So, another circle done up on there with a bit of a cross to keep a little bit clear and then we'll do that in purple and then I'm going to cut it out slightly smaller and do a little bit of an edge there uh, with some of the chrome and might just do some black or chrome down on the strips or just leave them clear and just have like a clear circle across so that's that bit just the protective bit on the back so, so far i think i'm only going to paint it on one side and try and keep um some of the sort of translucent characteristics of the plastic so that's ready to go and then we're pretty much done which is awesome we can um start detailing it a little bit, see how it all starts to look together and see if there's any bits we want to change, touch up, go over. But that's probably it. And then we'll just sort of see how the purple and chrome work together. Um, so we know how that goes for the laptop. But we'll let that coat, and we might as well just flip it around and do the last coat on the other side. So that should do that really nicely and we're basically just going to give that a day to cure up now and that should be pretty sweet so 
we'll let that go and I'll get back to you with the, we'll get back with the side panel in just a moment. So the case looks really good and now we're gonna do the bit on the side glass and the first bits of that. You really don't want any drips on this bit, so I'm gonna do it in really light coats and just sort of see how it comes out on the plastic and see if we can get somewhere where it's still a little opaque and transparent, see through, but still good purple. So we'll let that do its thing. And more paint dry, more paint dry. And on with the second coat. And we'll let that one set. So yeah, let's go. Coat number three. That looks pretty cool. It just looks a little bit odd at the moment because the plastic's still on the back, so it is getting still some um, translucent effect, so that should be cool. And then I've got a smaller circle. Give that a while to set, pull it up, put the smaller circle on, and then do a little touch of chrome around there and give it like a little chrome border. And that should be that. So for the last touch on the painting, uh, we're gonna do a bit of chrome around the extra bit. We've taped off a smaller circle, and we're gonna just do that bit. There we go. There we go. I think that will look pretty cool. <clears throat> Give a bit of a uh, target slash window effect on the side through the clear bits that come down and through the edge, uh, through the circle. So that's pretty much the painting finished up. Uh, for that, when everything's had a good cure and is ready, we'll put it back together and that will be the next part, but for now that's that. So hit sub if you liked it, hit that thumbs up and stick around for some more BJ's Bootables Originals. Thank you.